Welcome back to Beach My Travel. Um, I'm Anna and that's Nat. Um, welcome back to our Coffee Morning Breakfast show. Um, yeah, how was your week? Oh, very busy. Very, very busy. Work, school runs, you name it. Not very interesting, so there's nothing really exciting to report. How about yours? <laughs> well, we had a really exciting news re um, recently, so we just would like to say thank you very much, guys. We're over 1,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for watching all our videos. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, we do have um, a new video every single Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, and today we are chatting about what not. We like to talk about... Uh, what do you pack in your hand luggage when you go away? So we want to tell you what we do and what are the most important things we try not to forget to put in a hand luggage. Yeah, so basically I'm going to tell you a story. Um, once I had to evacuate from the plane in Egypt because there was smoke in the cabin when we were taking off. Um, so we took a lovely ride down the slides and ended up for 48 hours extra in a country, foreign country, um, with only a hand luggage. And since then, there are a few things, actually are three main things that I will always pack into my hand luggage um, on every single flight. That must have been really scary. Um, and you don't really think about those situations when you go away, you just pack everything in your main luggage and then a few bits in the hand luggage. You don't think about what's gonna happen when you actually don't have access to your main bag. So there are important things. So what are those things that you found that you really needed? Um, phone charger. So I didn't pack my phone charger and my phone has run out of batteries. I had no phone for 48 hours. I had to email from the business center um, my work to let them know I'm actually not coming because I'm stuck in the foreign country. Um, so first item that you guys should definitely pack is your phone charger. So about the phone charger, um, <coughs> I never used to be, <coughs> excuse me, Na Na Natalia likes to be organised. <laughs> this phone, is the extra long one. <laughs> phone charger, <laughs> labelled phone, in case if she forgot what's that for. <laughs> what's yeah. that all about? Because um, I need to have one for the phone and one for the tablet and one for other items so they don't get mixed up. I didn't have the same charger. Uh, they are, but um, there <laughs> might be different sense. powers or whatever. Okay, but anyway, yeah, this okay. is the extra long one as well. But that's phone, guys, phone <laughs> charger, definitely <laughs> find the phone charger. Um, it doesn't matter how long your flight is, if you are stuck without it um, and you haven't got your main luggage, your phone is just going to run out of battery. The portable chargers are really good as well. It's very, yeah. They're very useful because sometimes you might not have anywhere to actually plug in your, yeah. your charger. Yeah. So they're really good, but obviously you have to remember to take them out when you go for the scanners. The same with the phones and the tablets and everything. I used to be worried about the chargers because um, years ago I wasn't sure if you were even allowed to have the cable in your hand luggage in case they they can see it as a potential weapon or whatever. So I think there used to be a period of time when you when you wasn't allowed, but recently I've tried a few times and never had problem with the weapon. Did, 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 did you say potential <coughs> weapon? Oh yes. <laughs> well you could strangle someone with that if you wanted to. Exactly. <laughs> I think it's like with all the electricals, you just need to remember to take them out or to go for um, the scanners. Yeah, but okay, you got a phone charger, you're stuck in a foreign country, great. But how are you going to plug it in? Oh, yes. <laughs> so, adapter, guys. Another thing to pack or your phone chargers is basically useless. Um, so make sure you got the correct ones as well. I never get the correct ones. Um, but uh, a bit of advice, if you do stuck without this little fella in a hotel room um, and you've got a normal USB, you can literally plug this into the TV directly and charge your phone off the telly in any country you are in. That's a very good tip. Did you have to do that? Yeah, in Antigua. I would never think of that, you know. We have, we have literally plugged in our chargers to the back of the telly because we had not... Well, we didn't have the correct adapters, That's basically. That's a good idea. Yes, and if you um, forget to buy them beforehand, they can be very expensive at the airport and especially abroad. Then. Yeah. Right, okay guys, so we've got a charger, we've got the adapter, uh, we are good to go. 
almost. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we need to pack or what else do you actually pack when you're going on holidays um, in your hand luggage? Um, what do you find handy when you go abroad? Wet wipes, makeup wipes, wet wipes, cleaning wipes. There can be antibacterial ones wipes. as well. If you wipes, literally wipes. I'm not going to say if you're cautious about it, mm. because we all should be, especially travelling at the airport where there's loads and loads of people going through the doors every second of the day. Um, a lot of bacteria yeah, and viruses can Yeah, viruses. so exactly. So people are touching everything, um, then obviously you are touching it and um, a disease is spread. So um, wet wipes are great, but also you can remove your makeup, refresh your face, I don't know, clean your hands. You can't always go to the washroom. So it's really, really handy to have those as well. Um, yeah, so um, that's my top three things really. Um, and then obviously you have to pack all your essentials. Yeah, you have to remember about the basics. We don't really... We don't need to explain to you what they are, but you'll be surprised how many people might pack their bags and then leave the house without the passport or <laughs> plane ticket. So I find it really handy to still print out things. I know very old fashioned and a lot of people tell me this, like, why, why, why do you bother with this? You've got everything on your phone. You only have to scan your ticket and everyone laughs at me. But I'm like, yeah, but say that you lose your phone and someone steals it or you run out of battery and then how are you going to access your ticket your insurance yeah. documents and everything so there's no harm in printing a couple of pages keeping them in one little folder inside your handbag on your hand luggage yeah so definitely um have a little diary with most important telephone numbers that's a good idea uh, with your next of kin numbers with your own phone number if you lost your phone um, and also um, a bank phone numbers in case if you lose your wallet or your wallet has been stolen and you urgently need to contact your bank but you don't have an internet access or you don't have the Wi-Fi access um, at the moment so you can just literally pick up your little diary, get the numbers out, call whoever you have to call or ask someone to make that call for you. Job done, sorted. And I know we all fans of cards these days. Some people don't even use cash anymore, including me, I must admit. But when I go abroad, I always carry some cash with me in case your card gets blocked abroad, which happens sometimes. It happened to me before. Then I mm. forgot to contact my bank to let them know I'm going to another <laughs> country. And then my card was just stopped and I had to contact them, which can be very costly when you're abroad to ring your bank and try and sort it out. So always have some cash on you. And I know that's probably a bit over the top but I always use different little money bags inside my bag for different currency because once you have a lot of change in your bag yeah from like different country different currency different coins they all get mixed up and then when you go into the shop and trying to find the right money uh yeah it can take a lot of time and be a bit embarrassing so yeah that's it that's guys. guys so obviously pack pack your chargers <laughs> whatever <laughs> the phone chargers are Adapters. Adapter, wet wipes, diary with your phone numbers, the most important phone numbers, and a cash. And um, you'll be just fine if you uh, happen to evacuate the plane, for example. <laughs> or your luggage will be lost or stolen. Yes. Um, yeah. So thanks a lot for watching again. Um, we do have another video coming up soon. We've got a special surprise for you guys. Um, but for now, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you soon. Oh, and do let us know in the comments below if you have any, any more useful tips or ideas of what, what should be packed in a hand luggage. Yeah, why not? Leave us a comment as well. See you right, next have week. a great week, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks, bye.